Welcome back to another video. I'm T. Pendell. Smash that like button uh, before we even get started. Misogynistic and being a narcissist. Those words have been around forever, but I feel like when the pandemic started, women started using those words like good morning. Calling a man a narcissist and, and saying he's misogynistic, it was the new good morning. And it always seems to happen when you're just trying to speak logically or just hold people accountable. Accountability is huge. Sometimes you just let people talk, even men. Let men talk like anybody who makes excuses, anybody who complains, just listen to them. Listen to how they point the finger, 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 but they never point the finger at themselves. At some point in time, you have to take some accountability. You have to say, hey, okay, I played a part in this. It might not have been all my fault, but I played a part in this. You know how many women I've met and I'll be like, yo, what happened with your ex? Or they tell you about the ex and they'll say, hey, yeah, my ex, he was a narcissist. He was misogynistic. He was toxic. Okay, so what happened with the other ex? He was the same. You're going to tell me that your decision making skills are that poor that you keep picking these same type of men and on top of that, that it was just always the men's fault? Like, you know, I talk to homies and like, yo, what happened with such and such? Uh, it just ain't work out. Uh, she wanted this. She wanted me to propose. She wanted this. I wasn't ready for that yet. It just dwindled off. We grew distance away. Or guys will be honest and say, I messed up. Or she messed up. Or we both messed up and it was something we couldn't get over. You don't really hear men saying like, yeah, she was toxic. You know, she was a narcissist. You know, we might say, yeah, 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 she was crazy. But you know, most of the time we knew she you was crazy, the lady was crazy when we met her. It was, she was just fine and we thought it was cute. That cute, that the honeymoon stage is over and then we still see the craziness and the possessiveness start to happen. That's when you really want to shut it down because a lot of people out here like, oh, if you were me, you're mine. I don't want you to have any friends, any male friends. Don't be on the game. Mine, mine, mine. They want to possess you. That's not a relationship. If you really like somebody and you care about somebody and you and that's who you felt for, you want to see them in their form. You want to see them do them like you're attracted to that not molding them and having them do certain things that you want to do we can all have boundaries but you're not going to just try to completely divert this person i don't want you talking to this person more i don't want you being around these type of people i don't want you to be at these venues i don't want you doing this you about to be right here with me sitting by me that's it that's all you want i want all of this great energy you got stop spreading that shit all around the world stop letting the world see you shine stop being the sun just be my son. Swap. But a lot of people think like that. So we're going to get into this video. I can't play it because uh, it has music, but we're going to chime into it and get into it a little more. I'm going to just read it to y'all. And it's it's sad. This is what happens to so many people. Check it out. When you're 36 and realize them hot girl years didn't get you ish, but felonies and a baby. You're still trying to recruit, recoup losses because uh, you didn't build a career or go the good girl route. And now you're overweight, a single mother and depressed it don't get no realer than that so when i create content and i make videos i've had women i post these videos never reach out to me and be like bro you hate women why do you hate women so to you like who hurt you bro nobody hurt me i'm sitting here trying to tell y'all and trying to help and trying to push the narrative of don't go down this path it's ultimately going to end like this for a lot of people at least she's being honest and she's being accountable for like she chose. This is why your past always matter. The steps she took to get to this point. Some women will go through all of this and feel how she feels, but their vocal will be, all men are trash. They're no more good men. Men ain't ish. They never want to commit. Who gonna want to commit after you've been, you've been slept around, locked up, had a baby, out of wedlock, out of shape, and now you're 36 wanting somebody to settle down. That's just crazy. And men, we know, when you say that to women, and be like, ew, what's wrong with you? You're disgusting, you disgust me. That's how you really think, that's how you really feel. So I don't deserve love because I have all of this extra baggage going on? I'm not saying that, but y'all be walking around uh, feeling like you can still pull and still do the same type of stuff when you like as you were like 21, 23, 25 when you were in shape and not and didn't have a child. You know, I'm not saying you don't deserve love. Everybody deserves love. Like it might just it's just gonna be harder for you to find the love that you want now from the person that you want. You know, a lot of you, oh, I want this guy, I want this guy, I want this guy. I want a guy this tall. I want a guy with this ass. I want a guy that got this money. And when I was like, yo, look at the percentage of that guy. Like, and women be like, that's a bunch of tall guys. I don't. I hate when guys say that. There's a bunch of tall guys and the tall guys everywhere, fit guys everywhere, guys with money are everywhere. No, they're not. And second of all, the guys that, that you think are everywhere, do they want you? And if they do want you, why are you still single? Why are you just getting passed around by these guys? Why aren't any of these guys committing to you, wifing you up, putting a ring on it, 
taking you home to meet their parents. Why aren't they doing that? You gotta ask yourself that. This is like just regular logical stuff that if you say people get offended. And guys, we know, as a man, I know. Like I know that most women like a tall guy. Most women like a guy that has the stuff together and has money. Most women um, like guys that are in shape or athletic or like, or fun or charismatic or funny, have a personality, can hold a conversation. Like I know this already. Like this isn't like brand new news to me. So most men know that as well. And all we do is go and work on ourselves. Like we know the standard, we know what it is. We go work, we don't sit here and say, all oh, women hate men, they're narcissists. Why do they think this way? No, bro, we know what it is. But you can't spit it to a woman the same way because it's just a bunch of BS. Instead of saying like, this is what I need to do to be a better person. This is what I need to do to attract the guy that I want. They won't be able to attract that guy, get upset, and then be like, I don't do this for men, I do this for me. Cap, Cap, you put that makeup on because you look better with it on. Who you trying to look better for? You feel me, you put them damn lashes on for what? You feel me, you put heels on for what? You buy all those outfits for what? You half naked online for what? You shaking your butt online for what? Your greatest asset, you're showing that off all the time for what? To attract men, to attract the man you want, or even to compete with other females, compete with your friends, that happens as well. But y'all delusional and don't wanna admit that. Let's just keep it above, let's keep it 100. That's that's what's happening. And she said it herself, not, 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 giving, not going a good girl route, not giving the nice guy a chance. Now you sad, looking back on the years, things you could have did different, it can happen to you. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're in high school, I don't care if you're in college, guys too. You're, you're in high school, you could look back on middle school, things you could have did different. You're in college, you could look back in high school, things you could have did different. After school, you could be like, damn, I could have took school more seriously, I could have did this, I should have made this decision, I, I shouldn't have spent money on this, I shouldn't have spent my time with this person, I shouldn't have gotten this relationship. It was a waste of time. It was a life lesson, but it was still, you could have learned that another way. What's wrong with being honest with yourself? Let's jump into some of these other videos she got on this channel. If I play the video, I'm gonna mute it. You could just see, uh, you know, you can see her being emotional and literally her crying in the video, bro. It's just, it's sad. And, you know, shit, I have sisters. I have a mom, I have an aunt. Like, you know what I mean? That's me to go through, oh, you make these videos, uh, you have a mom, your mom is this, your mom, like, yeah. I don't want to see none of my relatives, none of my female cousins, no, no female friends to go through this. Like, you know, this could be prevented. Why can't, why have yourself in this situation? Like, you know, like this could be uh, avoided. First off, let me just say thank y'all. Um, it was a lot of support from the men and I'm not a pick me, but fellas, I do have to agree. And that's another thing. Like when, once you not even agree with men, but once you just start speaking logical and holding yourself accountable, and I really want to reiterate, not just agreeing with men. Once you start holding yourself accountable as a woman, and you're not like on the woman's side and pushing the woman's narrative of women are always right, women are always fine, women are always beautiful. You don't have to uh, better yourself. You don't have to work out. You don't have to stay in shape. You don't have to improve. You just got to be yourself and you should be chosen. Once you start pushing that narrative and start thinking logically and start being accountable and holding yourself accountable, women will call you a pick, pick me. They will say, hey, you're being a pick me. What are you doing? With Kevin Samuels, because it hit me yesterday what he was talking about. And even though, y'all, I didn't like how Kevin was talking to women. And at first, I was like, what you mean what I bring to the table? I am the table. No, you're not. No, you're not. And that's okay. You, That's okay. Because I have to be honest with myself, y'all, and accountability. And it hurts. It hurts being honest with yourself, y'all. The biggest thing. First of all, RIP Kevin. Um, and Kevin spoke to women oh, the same way he spoke to men, but it, it went viral because it was to women and, and it was uproar. Men, we get yelled at, spoken to crazy, we gonna eat that. You know what I'm saying? You gonna talk to us, especially if we know you right. Then he just checked me, I gotta get my ish together. With women, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, wait a minute, you can't talk to us like that. You can't talk, it, he went viral off of those clips. But he talked to men for years the same way. Like it just didn't go viral. Um, and it does hurt. I think that's a big part about it, it hurts. To, to, to see that you messed up and you could have did better or your life is not what it is or it's not going the way you wanted to go and, or it's not going to go the way. Like you can sense that, you can feel it and it's so easy to point the finger at other people. It's so easy to blame somebody else. But holding yourself accountable, it does hurt. And a lot of people don't want to feel that hurt. They don't want to address the elephant in the room. They don't want to tackle the head on. They don't want to look themselves in the mirror and be like, I should have did better. I can do better. I have to do better. They don't want to do that. They take the easy route of blaming everybody else. I'm not, not gonna lie to you. This is not a pity page, y'all, but accountability 
hurts and I know that's the first step and I realized last night y'all I just had a moment and I'm not one of those people that be crying for the camera and stuff y'all but I just had a moment and I was like bitch you fucked up first off let me just say this. let me say this y'all when I said I'm not the table do not be confused okay not meaning y'all that like I can't get a man that a man wouldn't want me or something like that y'all when I said I'm not the table like I realized y'all that's why I was crying yesterday because it's like what could i offer a man genuinely i'm talking about take looks take coochie take a body take all that stuff off the table and at the end of the day what could i offer a man i don't have nothing for you baby i really don't i got trauma i got motherfucking issues i got mental health issues i got a kid i got some motherfucking debt um i don't have nothing to offer you and, <laughs> bro, the honesty of this video is crazy. Like, my hat go off, I come here so much. There's so many women, maybe not in the same situation, but are have so many similarities to her. Like, they don't have much to offer, um, but make it seem like they have the world to offer and that they are the prize and that they are the chase. Why? Like, be honest with yourself. Like, this is the first step. It's literally like admitting that you need to improve and you need to do better and be better. I don't know why people are so afraid of doing that. And the truth about it is, y'all, I'm hurting y'all because I want to be loved. I want marriage. You know, a lot of us get on here, we act tough and we be like, I don't want a man. I don't need a man, but I want help. I want to be loved. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody I can be vulnerable with. I don't know why women say I don't need a man, I don't want a man, unless you like lesbian or something, then I get it. You know what I mean? Hey, newsflash. We need each other. We need each other to create. We were, we were put on this earth to be together. So if you sit here and say, I know plenty of women that don't have a man and grow old without a man and are fine and are fine being cat owners and fine owning animals and dogs. Bro, them cats only live in 10 years. Them dogs only live in 10 years. How many times are you going to keep buying new dogs and new cats, man? Like, you know, I mean, we're talking about longevity. We're talking about somebody who's going to take care of you. You're talking about somebody's sickness and health. We're talking about somebody you're not feeling good, going to wipe your ass and wash you. And cats and dogs ain't doing that, man. Let's be real. Be real with yourself. The problem is, and I'm not crying, y'all, because I'm sad. I'm crying, y'all, because it's like a release right now. But the problem for me, y'all, is that all the relationships that I had with men were not about love. It was about survival for me. I know how to. I know how to cook, I know how to clean, I know how to seduce a man. I do not know how to love a man. And then, to have a son, because of those choices that I was making, y'all, and I got pregnant really, really fast. I got pregnant within 90 days of knowing my baby daddy. And we don't talk about this shit because it's embarrassing and it hurts. It hurts. And I'm mad with me. I'm not mad at men. I'm not mad at I'm not mad at my life. I'm I'm, I'm mad at me because I don't know how to fix me. I don't know how to fix it. That's that's accountability. That's the shit that hurts. It's realizing that hey, I got some shit with me that I don't know how to fucking fix. And in turn, because I don't know how to fix that shit, I'm fucking up other people around me. That's accountability. This is sad. All respect, go to that young lady. I hope she figured it out. The first step is to address it and counseling, seeking help. There's a lot of people out here that's moving around like that that don't know how to love someone because they weren't loved properly. Men too. For her to hold herself accountable in a world where she could just easily point fingers and, and take the easy way out like she didn't. She doesn't want a pity party, but shit, she emotional. I would be emotional too. Ain't no wrong with crying. Ain't no wrong with being emotional. It's okay. I, I want the best for everybody. And even sharing stories like this, sharing it's my own story, sharing stories of people I've been around. People think they can just live any kind of way. Live reckless, live without a band, live without a care, and think it's gonna work out. Somebody's gonna pick you or you're gonna find the perfect person. No, it don't work like that. Me not working, being a slouch for five, 10 years, and just thinking I'm just laying a perfect job or laying the perfect position, or it's all gonna work itself out. Tell me what y'all think about this entire video. Look, you got one life. Live it to the best of your ability and make some good decisions. You think you can't end up a certain way, and it will be you. Social media, hookup culture, Get him for what he can get, the music, take his money, fly around trips, do trips. Y'all chill, wait five, ten years. 
Wait five, ten years and see how so many people turn out. Just baby mamas. Body ain't what it used to be. Watch. Time will tell. Check out on the next one.